Welcome to The Snap. This is a segment where we answer frequently asked questions in a very rapid fire format. So let's get right into it. On today's episode of The Snap, we are gonna be discussing single flame heating techniques, more advanced tips to help you get the best performance. I have a Hydrovong XLS with titanium spinning mouthpiece and a Javelin single torch to demonstrate. For those of you who are just getting into the VapCap, I recommend you checking out our triple torch heating tips video located here. That's gonna give you some really great advice on how to get the best out of your triple torch for those new users. But once you are familiar and comfortable with your heating technique, it's time to graduate to the single torch and I'm gonna show you how to best use it. There are two main methods to rotating your device, the infinite spin, or the back and forth. I personally prefer the infinite spin when using a single torch. I just find it allows for more even heating. If I want to have a more extended session, I will take the torch and focus the heat right on the crimp on the cap. This is going to give me the most flavorful vapor I can from our device. You get the click in a few seconds, take your draw, and I will typically do that one to two times. And I'll work my way down the cap with subsequent heatings. So then I will heat up the middle, heat it till the click, do another draw, and I'll do that for two times. And then I'll go all the way down to the very base of the cap to get those really dense vapor pulls. And this will allow me to have more of a session with the VAP cap as opposed to pretty much do a couple pulls and you're done. Now, if you don't have a whole lot of time or you're just that cloud chaser who wants to fully extract everything and the few amount of heating cycles as you possibly can, this tip is for you. Take your torch, start spinning, focus right at the base of the cap, right where that V is on the lettering, and then right before you get to the click, pull away. Give it one to two seconds like I just did now, reintroduce heat. That's going to extend that heat up cycle, allow for a higher temperature inside the chamber. You'll be able to fully extract all the compounds inside your tip in one to two heating cycles. It's very fast extraction, really dense vapor. It's not gonna have all the flavor that you did with the other method, but if that's not what you're going for, this is the method for you. Now, if you have other heating tips that you'd like to see demonstrated on the snap, please mention in the comments below, and we'll try to do those in the future. Thanks for watching the snap. Be sure to check out all of our other videos on our channel, and be sure to comment, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified when we release more great content.